In this video, we show you how to set up your Samsung Galaxy S3. This video presumes that you've already inserted the battery, a memory card, and a SIM card. It is not necessary to insert the memory card or SIM card, but it is advisable. Take your device, press and hold the power button on the side for a couple of seconds until you see the logo on the screen. Allow the phone to proceed through its boot up procedure. You'll then be presented with the following menu. You can select the language of your choice from the languages available within the list. Click Start. Now the amount of configuration that you do is entirely up to you at this point, depending on your setup. You can always add accounts and other settings at a later stage, but the basic setup procedure is as follows. Now you can create a Samsung account or sign in if you have one. We're going to skip this step, but the sign in process is fairly straightforward. The main account that you want to link up is your Google account. This will allow you to connect to Google services such as Gmail and Gmail contacts and calendar, backing up your calendar appointments, your contacts and your email. Now you can sign in if you have an account already. You can create an account or you can simply skip the process by clicking not now. If you were to get an account, you can put in all the required information through the screens on the actual device. Alternatively, you can set this up at a desktop PC and then set it connect from the Galaxy S3. If I go back here, we're going to sign in with our account. So it asks you to put in your appropriate login details, which we'll do now. So we've entered our appropriate login details. I can now click sign in. The procedure will use your 3G data connection if you have a SIM card provided or SIM card inserted into the device. Assuming it makes a connection, you'll then be presented with this screen. If it does not make a connection, it will more than likely offer you the option to connect via Wi-Fi, whereby you can connect to a wireless network if there is one in range. Alternatively, it will offer you the option to skip through the setup procedure. So I want to uh, restore my Google account settings to this device, and I want to keep it backed up. It's best to keep both of those icons ticked. Click Next and the device will now connect to your Google account and make the appropriate changes to the configuration of your device. So this will include downloading your contacts and this will also include any emails and applications. So I have my name settings here that I'm just proceeding through. I can connect a Dropbox account if I wish. If you're setting this up for the first time with the Galaxy S3, you do get 50 gig of storage on Dropbox for free for a year. So it's well worth signing up for this account. And it's a great way of backing up photos and videos from your device wirelessly, either through 3G or Wi-Fi, to the cloud. It's a great backup solution and it can connect to your desktop computer. So I'm not going to proceed with this at this time. And once you've done that, you'll be presented finally with this screen whereby you can finish and you'll be taken to the main home screen for the Samsung Galaxy S3. You'll then be taken to the main home screen for the Samsung Galaxy S3 whereby you can then go through the settings in more detail if you wish and configure your device to your taste. 